in this choppy crypto market, a few coins are on the move and STP, ticker STPT, is showing signs of bullish momentum, buying pressure, with a move of 17% this morning. The chart looks good, the coin looks good, the timing looks good, so let's have a look. As you can see here in the chart, very easy to see. We corrected hard throughout all this period, and then we're starting to have higher lows. Here, the base is trending slightly up, and this downtrend was represented by this blue line here. But, oh yeah, and we allowed the MA50 to go below the price. But as you see, as soon as it got below the price, now we just got a surge here upwards. So we broke this downtrend on the way up with a slight increase in price. Not amazing, but this was a, an accumulation period. And just a few days ago, we saw the first sign here with this spike in volume. And now huge volume compared to what we have seen in the past. And you see the impressive move. That's the type of move that you need to get rid of a downwards movement, followed by a side, sideways movement, now trying to go up to the right. That's what STP is doing, trying, and this means what? Buyers are in control right now. Even though Bitcoin is correcting, this coin doesn't care. It's doing its thing. And people are jumping on this coin. Either some news came out or people just found that this price was attractive to them and started buying. As you see, we went above the ME200. The ME200 is a solid resistance on the way up when you have this type of reversal. So we went up and then got rejected. Now we're below the ME200. So we should be trading between 0 0.05 and 0 0.052 for a while maybe. And then we're going to try and break it above it. That would be the plan. If we break above it and the price stays above that trend line for a couple of days, then it becomes support, and then we can move forward and push way up, maybe back to nine cents, which was the last top here that we see on the daily chart. On the weekly chart, we see here that this uptrend of higher lows since 2020, so for people who want to know what is the real trend of the coin, so this is the base, and obviously this is the volatility that you can have. So you need to be really opportunistic with this volatility when you see these bumps to grab some profits in order to either accumulate coins and secure gains, especially in early crypto projects or younger crypto projects. But this applies to memes, to any type of altcoin that you're dealing with. When you have really strong spikes of price in bull runs, especially near the end of bull runs, you need to make sure to take profits regardless of what it is. The only exception that I have for these are two coins right now, which would be Bitcoin and Solana for me. I'm hesitating on taking profits, but for sure, Bitcoin, I would continue to accumulate. Solana, I may take a little bit of profits, but not a significant amount because I want to accumulate as much as I can. Because I want to accumulate as much as I can. But those are the only two. I've invested in memes and other coins and I will take profits in the mid-2025 or almost the end of 2025 as we typically see a peak around that period. That is my thesis. I could be wrong. It could be a, an extended cycle or a shorter cycle. I'll track that down to see when I'm comfortable taking 
a little bit of profit just to accumulate cash to confirm that you have profits. It's only when you sell that you confirm you have profits. Before that, it's all theoretically, it's all on paper, it's not real. So once you take profits, then you keep that cash and wait for the big correction. And then when everybody's getting out of the market and being extremely fearful, you jump back in at really cheap prices, you know, 90% down, 80% down for most of the cases. And then you accumulate coins and then you wait for the next peak. Rinse and repeat. That's what you have to do. But it requires timing, knowledge, patience, patience, patience. And as I'm closing in on my first cycle of four years for Bitcoin, oh my, patience is tough. Doing absolutely nothing with your positions is painfully difficult. So I'm learning it right now. I hope you guys get that experience of four year cycle, a complete one to go through all the emotions, fear, greed, boring periods, things like that, that you need to go through to be able to be an excellent crypto investor in the future. I hope you learn a little bit today. Hit the like, subscribe, watch more videos, do a search of assets that you enjoy. I most probably have done a video on that asset. If it's an older video and you want an update, just write down a comment and I'll try my best to give you guys an update on that asset. See you in the next one.